Are you interested in old lawn and garden tractors? Lawn and Garden Collector Magazine features collections of all types of vintage lawn and garden tractors and equipment. On this Tractor Fanatic webisode, we're breaking ground as guests of the Keck Gunnerman Club at their annual plow days in New Harmony, Indiana. Hey Mike, good morning. Good morning. I'm with Mike Blackburn, who's the president of the Keck Gonnerman Club here in, uh, actually we're not in uh, Mount Vernon today, we're actually we're near New Harmony. New Harmony, right? Yes. Indiana. And this is a plow day event that you guys do annually. Tell me about it. Yeah. We've done the plow days for a few years now. Mm -hmm. We've got people coming in from all over yeah. the tri-state area and even from far down in around Lexington, Kentucky today. Uh, we've got uh, horses, we've got mules, we've got garden tractors, we've got the old vintage tractors here today. Mm -hmm. We've got probably around 60 to 70 acres here to plow today. Wow, uh, there's gonna be some serious business going yes, on here, huh? Yes, they'll, they'll all be lined up. <laughs> Uh, it's a great photo opportunity for somebody that hasn't seen the old tractors right. run and plow and use them in the field like they used to do. Uh, you know, they'll all be lined up behind uh -huh. each other, and oh, it, it's great. <laughs> now, I, I would, I, for me, I would think that these people would really enjoy bringing their tractor out and having a chance to work it in the field. They do. You know, you'll see. Uh, most of the time, these tractors never get used mm -hmm. throughout the year, except mm -hmm. for tractor shows. Right and maybe to pull now and then, and that's about it. There's a few of them that still use them on the farm, but most of them sit in the barn and they're all cleaned up and right. ready to go just for this kind of event. Right, right, so to actually get them out and, and use how they were designed to be used is pretty cool. Yes, to work. Yeah, so how do, you, how do you work it in the field? Is it just total chaos out there or is no, there some we, plan? <laughs> we've got a, one of our past presidents has already went out and laid off a land or two. Okay. And we'll have a driver's meeting here okay. about uh, 15 minutes before we start. Okay. They'll uh, tell everybody what we're doing mm -hmm. and we're going to have him lead us out and follow. Okay. If we have too many here today, then we'll probably have two different lines of tractors going okay. at the same time. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. So there, you, there's a method to the madness oh, out yeah. here. <laughs> As I'm sure safety is important in what's yes, going on. And so tell me a little bit about the Keck Gonnerman Club. The Keck Gonnerman Club was formed 19 years ago mm -hmm. by five members, the original members that wanted to preserve the history of farming and agriculture in the Posey County area. Mm -hmm. The Keck Gonnerman was built in Mount Vernon. Mm -hmm. They built steam engines, mm -hmm. they built tractors, they built separators for the wheat. They've also built beaners, sawmills, a lot of things that people don't know about. I myself have lived in Mount Vernon all my life, but did not realize some of the stuff they did make. Mm -hmm. One of the original buildings is still in Mount Vernon. Is it? Right now. Uh, I don't know exactly what year they quit down there, but you can still see a lot of Keck Garman steam engines when you go to shows around. Yeah, yeah, we've run into several of them, yeah. We had a member of the other last year that donated an original Keck Gonnerman sawmill to the club. Wow. And we are in the process right now of building a building and going to put it into operation That's again. That's neat. So at our shows and maybe at the fair, right. we can demonstrate how it was. Well, uh, and this club is not a small club. You've got over 200 members, We've right? got around 230 members wow. right now. Wow. Uh, and like I say, they come from all over. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, Mike, thanks a lot for joining us. Thank you. I can't wait to get out in the field and see the tractors and the horses and everything at work. It must just be kind of fun to see it all together. Huh? It's going to be a very fun day, so stick around and we'll show you what goes on out here in the field. Well, thanks again. Call now for the 2010 Steiner Tractor Parts Catalog, featuring the largest selection of new aftermarket parts for your antique or classic tractor. With 45,000 square feet, Steiner Tractor Parts makes every effort to have your parts in stock. Call 800-234-3280 or visit SteinerTractor.com.
All right, I'm with Paul Maurer. Yes, Paul, Paul nice Maurer. to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet yeah. you. And you're one of the original founding members yeah, of the Peck Gunnerman Club. There were right? five of us about uh, 20 years ago that thought that we ought to try to get organized and get some of the local people together and, and uh, kind of keep history alive. Absolutely. And, and use some of the old equipment that we all had and, and try to develop the, the, the hobby. So when you first started, did you think it would grow into this? Or well, we had high hope, hopes, but yeah. you know, we were shooting for 100, and I think we got over 200 members now, 220 or something wow, like that's, that. Wow, that's really amazing. Uh, and we have a lot of fun. Uh, it's a good family involvement. Uh -huh. Kids kids get into it, and that's what it's all about. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and this is an annual event? This Plow Day is an annual event. Uh, when the weather cooperates, mm -hmm. a couple mm -hmm. years ago, we, we couldn't get together and plow because right. it was so wet, and it's marginal here today, but we're gonna make it okay. We're gonna make it work. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and you brought, uh, I understand you have a lot of trackers, but you brought one of yours today, an yeah, 80, right? This is a John Deere 80, it's a 1956 model. Mm -hmm. uh, it's one of the, it's, it's about as historic as anything in my barn. I've had it about as long as any of them. I think I've had it about 30 years. Yeah. And I, I was just looking the other day, I painted it back in 1986. Uh, this is a, a fairly low production tractor. They built about 2,500 of them. Wow. And uh, built it in 1955 and 56 only. Yeah. And, and it's this is one of my favorites. And it's a diesel, one of the it's early diesels. It's a diesel, it's got yeah. a pony motor to start it. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. A gasoline four cylinder yeah. starting motor and a two cylinder diesel. What type of horsepower are we at draw bar? Uh, it it uh, PTOs out at about 58. Okay. All right. PTO. So, okay. Uh, All right. It, uh, and it'll pull a five bottom it'll plow. It'll pull huh? a five bottom plow on a good day. Now today, I don't yeah, know if it's going to be, gonna that's be why I've got that other four bottom over there. Well, I saw that. Yeah, I <laughs> yeah. saw you brought another one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's not quite as, quite as pretty, but it, uh, it might be the one we have to rely on. <laughs> well, it's going to be uh, it's gonna interesting, be interesting to see. Yes, that's right. Exactly. That's exactly right. Well, listen, thanks for joining us. Hey, and, it's uh, good, good and, to have you here. We appreciate it. And can't wait to get some footage of you your track. You come back next there. year, okay? Okay. Thanks. Alrighty. Thanks, Paul. Thank you for coming. Yeah, I'm with Andy and his 1935 farm hall, and I saw you worked it pretty hard out there, Andy. How, how was the field today? It's a little bit wet, uh -huh. a couple of hard spots, but this ground plow is pretty good. We've plowed here in uh, New Harmony several years now, and I like this field. Yeah, and you're a member of the local Keck Gonnerman Club also, right? That's right, yeah. Now, tell me a little bit about the tractor we're looking at here. Well, this is a 1935 F20 farm hall. Mm -hmm. Just like the name says, it's rated about 21 horsepower uh -huh. on the draw bar. Mm -hmm. Set up really for uh, two 14 inch plows like you see behind it. Mm -hmm. uh, I re Dad got me this tractor when I was about 12 years old because he knew I had the old iron bug then already. <laughs> so you've had it a while. It's then, been huh? restored for quite a while. <laughs> yeah. you know, as you can see, it's probably due for a little bit of re-restoration. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Spruce the paint up, some new decals, but I think it still runs pretty good. That's the most important thing to me. Exactly. Come out and play here at Plow Day. Uh -huh. I don't own any trailer queens, and this no, is one of them. This is this is a perfect event to 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 run what you brung, right? Exactly. That's right. Yeah. I don't farm myself, so an opportunity to come play in the dirt <laughs> is a lot of fun for me. Well, I'm an engineer by trade. Mm -hmm. I enjoy mechanical things. Mm -hmm. uh, this is definitely a mechanical thing. It's easy to figure out. There's no part on the old tractor I can't study for a few minutes and figure out what it does and how to fix mm -hmm, it. Mm -hmm. Unlike a lot of modern electronics today, if the magic smoke leaks <laughs> out of the box, you're, you're in trouble. Exactly. <laughs> There's no computer chips on this one. No, none there? at all. <laughs> now, of course, a farmer back in, in 1935, or the late 30s, let's say, I mean, hours and hours on this tractor can get, you can get beat up pretty good, can't you, plowing? Absolutely. I'm very glad <laughs> that I do this because I want to and not because I have to. I don't I've see spent, a lot of padding on that seat. No, I've spent at most two thirds of a day plowing on this and I was done when we, <laughs> when we finished. If I had to do it all day every day, I don't believe it would be fun for very long. Well, especially when you think how long it would take you to do a field that size with this single tractor. I think F20s were supposed to plow in the neighborhood of 10 to 12 acres a day. Wow. Well, listen, I appreciate you joining us today and showing yeah, us your tractor and you. talking about plow days. On our next Tractor Fanatic webisode, it's part two of our groundbreaking visit to the Keck Gonnerman Plow Days in New Harmony, Indiana.